Tell me about the anonymous part. I understand the idea of the aspirational, why you chose the name. Why did you decide to become an anonymous figure? For sure. <laughs> and why is it something that someone else might want to do? Yeah, definitely. So I think I need to set the backdrop, I guess, a little bit more. I think in the pre-internet era, identity, credentials, and truth were kind of synonymous. Like if you had all the eyeballs on you on TV, if you were Tom Brokaw or if you had a PhD, if you had an MD, you were probably closer to the truth than the random Joe Schmo on the street because these institutions actually had a privileged access to information. Uh, they effectively had a monopoly on information. So to get access to research journals, for instance, colleges and universities have to pay upwards of $10 million a year, I believe it is, or $10 million over a quarter. More than an average person can pay to see these. So if you came along and you were someone like me 20 years ago spouting out these ideas, you probably belonged maybe on the Venice boardwalk or you were probably a little bit crazy and shouldn't be trusted because there was no recourse to actual science. There was no way for an average person to read these studies that I'm citing. But thanks to the internet, it's completely shattered all of these permission slips to credentials. So now all information is available. Exactly. And now someone like me can say, okay, my doctor says saturated fat raises cholesterol and heart disease. Let me fact check that. Let me fact check you, actually. And read the study you're referring to. Read the study that built your textbook and actually look at it for myself. So... Thanks to like PubMed and Sci-Hub and a lot of these sources, we've eradicated the monopoly on information. And it's led to both extraordinarily wacky and wrong ideas, but also I think a renaissance of real truth. So when it comes to anonymity, I saw early on that I was going to face this interesting problem of how to critique the experts when I was not an expert. And I read something from Thomas Sowell, who I'm a big fan of. He suggested that the only way to criticize, the only way to truly speak truth to power is to either speak posthumously when you're dead <laughs> or anonymously. So at the time... Did he explain why? The idea is that speaking from your persona subjects the merit of the idea to secondary importance. So I understand. So it becomes about you exactly. instead of about the information. Exactly. 